Hello guys, we back with the sun. Supplementary reader in class 6. Chapter 4, Tan Singh. Tan Singh was the only child of his parents. Naughty but talented, he imitated the cults of birds and animals perfectly. Once he tried to fight any group of travelers by roaring like a tiger. You may have heard the name of Tan Singh. The greatest musician in our country he has produced. A singer like Mukundan Mish and his wife lived in Behat near Kualia. Tansen was their only child. It is said that he was not a child. Often he ran away to play in the forest and soon learned the meteor perfectly. The calls of birds and animals. The famous singer named Swami Haridas was only traveling through the forest with his disciplines. Tired, the group settled down to rest in a shady grove. Tan Singh saw them, strangers in the forest. He said to himself, it will be fun to frighten them. He hid behind a tree and rode like a tiger. A little group of travelers scattered. In fear, but Swami Haridas called him together. Don't be afraid, he said. Tigers are not always dangerous. Let us look for this one. Suddenly, one of his men saw a small boy hiding behind a tree. There are no tiger here, Marshal Stir. He said, only this naughty boy. Tansi learned music from Swami Haridas from... 11 years he stayed with a holy man called Muhammad Ghosh. He married Husani, one of the ladies in the court of Rani. Marrying Nani, Swami Haridas did not punish him. He went to Tan Singh's father and said, Your son was very naughty. He is also very talented. I think I can make him a good singer. Tan Singh was 10 years old when he went away is with Swami Haridas. He lived with him for 11 years, learned music and became a great singer. At about this time, his parents died. Mukund Mishra's dying wish was that Tan Shin should visit Muhammad Ghaz in Gwalior. Muhammad Ghaz was a holy man. Mukund Mish had long been devoted to him. And office visited him while living in Gwalior with Muhammad Ghaz. Tansin was often taken to the court of Rani Maigranini, who was a great musician herself there. He met and married one of the ladies of the court. Her name was Husaini. Husaini also became Swami Hazar discipline. Tansin and Husaini had five children who were always all very musical. Tansin had by this time become very famous. Sometimes he sung before Emperor Akbar, who was so impressed by him that he stated Tansin should join this court. Tansin became a favorite in Akbar's court one. He was asked to sing Rag Deepak. Tansin asked his daughter and her friend to sing Rag Mega. After Ragdeep Deepak to contract the effort of the later, Tansin went to Akbar's court in 1556. As soon become a great favorite of the Emperor, Akbar would call upon Tansin to sing at any time during the day or night. Quite often he would just walk into Tansin's house to hear him practice. He also gave him many presents. Some of the courtiers become jealous of Tansin. We shall never be able to rest till Tansin is given. They declare one of the courtiers, Shokat Mia, had a bright idea. Let us make him sing Rang Deepak, he said. How will that help us? asked another man. Rag Deepak is properly sung. It makes the air so hot that the sung singer is burned to ashes. Tan Singh is a very good singer. 
if he sung rag the bug he will die and we were be friend of him shokat bhai went to akbar and said we don't think tanzin a great singer let us test him tell him to sing rag the bug only the greatest singer can sing it properly of course he can sing it tanzin can sing anything akbar said tanzin was afraid but could not disobey the king very well my lord he said but gave me time to prepare myself tanzin went home he had never been more downcast and unhappy i can sing the raga he told his wife but the heat it gives off but will not only set the lamps alight it will also burn me to ashes then he had an idea if someone sing rag mega at the same time and sang it properly it will be bring green perhaps our daughter ran saraswati and her friend rupati could do it he said he thought the two girls to sing rag mega they practice night and day for two weeks tanzin told him you must wait till the lamp start burning and then you start singing both ragas were sung accordingly to plan akbar punished tanzin enemies tanzin died in 1585 the legends goes that on the appointment day the whole town assembles to hear tanzin sing rag the pak when he began to sing the air become warm soon people in the audience were bathed in perspiration the leaves of the trees dried up and fell to the ground as the music continued but flew dead because of the heat and the water in the river began to boil people carried out in terror as flame shoot up out of now fear and light in the lamp at once saraswati and rubati began to sing rag mega the sky clouded over and rain came down tanz and was safe the story goes that he was very ill after this and akbar was sorry that he had caused him so much suffering he punished tanz and enemy when tanz and god well the entire city rejoices tanz and remained akbar's court saying sir till 1585 when he died he composed several new rags tanz and stop in in gwalior it is a place of pilgiri meg for musicians thanks guys like share and subscribe